Ogun State House of Assembly on Thursday acknowledged the receipt of correspondence from the state governor, Dapo Abiodun, conveying the proposed bill on the State Security Network Agency and Amote Kunkor to le the legislative arm. The Speaker of the Assembly, Ola Kunle Uluomo, while reading the letter from the governor dated 12 February 2020, said the content had been approved at the second meeting of the state's executive council held on Tuesday, 11 February 2020, with a view to maintaining the law and order in the state. The Speaker pledged that the Assembly will ensure the bill is given a speedy passage into law. Meanwhile, Plus TV Africa had a conversation with Nobel laureate Wale Sorinka, who shared his thoughts on show arrest trial and oppression at Motekun. Let me just say this, that uh, I've been curious about what the government is about over this issue. And, um, well, I felt that maybe if I attended this session, I might find something missing. Because I don't understand why this case is going on. I don't understand why this young man is being barricaded uh, on uh, in one city that is not his own on very stringent bill conditions. I, I think the whole exercise is uh, it's just punitive and petulant. And so I went to court to see that there is something I don't know. Uh, that might be that, that might be divulged in in the courts. That's that's why I went. Oh, and that's uh, we're pretty much aware that Shore was incarcerated and also granted bail. Now the federal government is now accused of time wasting. How do you see this panning out, sir? Oh, both time wasting and uh, person wasting. You know, wasting uh, the time of lawyers also who could be. Uh, Attending to far more serious cases, cases of real import uh, for the citizens of this nation, and even perhaps even for the government itself. I don't know, uh, but definitely time wasting and uh, wastage of public expense and time and attention, uh, serious issues. And uh, and for me, this uh, this attempt to to fasten onto a word. Uh, some the, the real sinister and, uh, uh, convulsion uh, prone meaning. Like, uh, I, 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 as I said, I, the whole thing just seems uh, banal to me. So um, and, uh, I have not yet been further enlightened by what happened in court. Anyway, right. the prosecution was obviously not even prepared to move on after this long. Adjournment, and I thought we would see what the fireworks they had in their in their stock was, but um, we didn't. It was just a, a fizzle. Yeah. I don't understand uh, this nonsense. Now, now it seems you've become more visible critic of government. Is this because you are frustrated with the way Nigeria is going, or just because less people seem to be brave enough to speak truth to power today? Um, yes, of course, people are frustrated, and rightly so. Uh, oh, yes, I remember speaking to one of the, um, well, not spokesmen, government spokesmen, but supporters um, uh, over the sewer thing. And, then I, and he said, oh, yes, one of the phrases which, uh, which sort of picked the government was uh, is called for days of rage. I, I think Nigerian citizens are undergoing days of rage uh, on a daily basis. So if one individual happens to articulate it in that manner, I don't see that it said anything wrong or false. So this, this nation is enraged at uh, this government, its uh, failures. Um, and um, uh, it's... It's quite natural for people to speak up more and more for civil society to become increasingly articulate when they see all their greatest uh, expectations just being uh, thrown away, thrown over the over the wall. I see they, they didn't matter. That's just like garbage. Those putting the blame at the door of the president, are they right in your opinion? Uh, but they, they have a perfect right. The, the buck stops at his death. He's committed a number of blunders, you know, uh, in many respects. There's a kind of uh, nonchalance about uh, civic concern, uh, even including uh, uh, security. He wakes up late to 
very real and present danger, which has been apparent to everybody else. Uh, the, other, the other day, I remember a statement which shocked me, not uh, from him, not so long ago. He said he was shocked about the state, the uh, level of insecurity in, in the nation. He was shocked. I was shocked. He was shocked. What has been going on the whole why right across the entire nation? Where does he think uh, all the negligent uh, conduct decisions of the organ function yet? Where, where does he think they landed the uh, what, What's your opinion on the clamor for the sacking of the service chiefs? Do you see this as a solution to the myriads of security issues we're facing currently? The security issues are uh, about uh, both for the experts and for the amateurs because the amateurs these represent those who, who really feel the brunt of insecurity. So they have a voice and they also have opinions. And in many, many instances, even the so-called citizen amateur has a greater grasp of what is required to police to secure his or her own environment. Um, far, far, far beyond uh, what those who sit at the center uh, think that they that they, they know what they can uh, they can do, and uh, so the one set of uh, security chief is sacked, another one replaces it. No, but it's not an individual issue. It's the system, is the structure, and anybody who sits at the center and says he opposes regional, community, um, uh, localized. Policing in one form or the other. He's an enemy of the people.